Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Francisco and welcome to the lesson number nine of this intermediate level. Guys, I hope you practice with the exercises that I left in the previous lesson and that you're ready to take this other class about there used to be, but now with the difference between there was and there were, which is a topic that we saw in a basic level. And if you haven't seen this class or you don't remember anything of these two expressions, this is the class that you should watch to understand much better this class, okay? Now, guys, there used to be is going to be used when we have a subject in singular or plural. But when we're talking about there was and there were, it's going to be different. Why? Because if you have the subject in singular, so you have to use there was. And if you have a subject in plural, so you have to use there were. These are some other differences of these two topics and some directions that are going to be very important for you to take into account. So I'll take note of this and we're going to analyze them with these four exercises here. Now, we're going to start with this number one, and this is going to be the picture for you to have the context. Guys, the context is going to be very, very important for you to understand and to decide whether to use one word or another. In this case, whether to use, there used to be, there was, and there were. Okay? So, this picture that we have here represents just a part, a very sad part of the history of Colombia, because in 1985, in this town, which is called Armero, there was a tragedy where many people, including Omaira and many others, died. It was something really, really sad for our country. And well, I don't know if you hear about this and the news, and that's why we have the exercise number one. There used to be many people in this town some years ago. Solía haber muchas personas en este pueblo hace muchos años. Pay attention to the context, guys. When we use there used to be here, we're talking about something that existed in the past. It's not in the present and wouldn't be in the future either. Pay attention to this. And now what? We have an emphasis on the length in time, the duration of the town and the situation that happened at that time. And in here we have indefinite period of time because we're talking about some years ago and we talked about this in a previous class. Okay? Now, what do we have to do here? In this case, we have to complete the sentences by using there was and there were. Which one would you choose here? According to the subject, subject that we have, which is many people. In this case is, in this case is, there were. Pacho, why? Because we're talking about many people. Many people is plural. And if it's plural, so I have to use there were. There were many people in this town some years ago. Guys, pay attention to this, please. When we use there was or there were, for example, in this case that we use this, we're talking about something that existed in the past and could exist again. There's an open possibility for something to exist in the future. But in here, it's totally different. Something that existed in the past, and it's still in the past, not in the present, or wouldn't be in the future. Let's tengan mucho cuidado con esas diferencias. Algo que existió en el pasado, sí, pero que podría existir otra vez, pero aquí simplemente se quedó en el pasado. That's a big difference. Guys, in here, we're making emphasis on the length in time. With the where, we're not making any kind of emphasis on the length in time. And we can have indefinite period of time or definite period of time. This star key that we have here, it is because it tends to be pretty much with definite period of time. Okay, we use it most of the time with definite period of time, but you can use it with this one too. That's why we have some years ago, yes, which is indefinite period of time, or you can also talk about 30 four years ago, which is a definite period of time. Why 34 years ago? Because at the moment of recording this class, we are in 2019, so it was 34 years ago. So guys, very important to take into account this. But according to the context that we have, these sentences wouldn't be very correct at all. Why not? Because in here we're talking about something that existed in the past and wouldn't be present or wouldn't be in the future anymore. Pacho, pero es que la tragedia puede pasar otra vez. Guys, it wouldn't be the same tragedy because in that town there are no people living. That's why it wouldn't happen again. 
Let's continue with number two, guys, and this is going to be the context. Analyze it, please. There used to be a cat on the roof every morning. When I say this, it is because something that existed in the pond and is not present. I don't know if the cat died or the cat is living in a different house. I don't know. We're talking about emphasis on the length in time when we say every morning, indefinite period of time, too. But now that we have to add this sentence into a there was and there were sentence, we have to analyze it. So, in this case, we're talking about a cat. So, it's singular. In this case, would be there was the correct option here. There was a cat on the roof every morning. But pay attention because when we say every morning, it sounds weird. Even in Spanish, it sounds weird too. Look at this. Había un gato en el techo cada mañana. Había un gato en el techo cada mañana. It doesn't make a clear sense. That's why I wouldn't use the same, uh, the same period of time that I use here every morning. And I had to adapt it with this one, for example. This morning. There was a cat on the roof this morning. Había un gato en el techo esta mañana. Something that happened in the past and could exist in the future. Because probably later, tomorrow or next week, the cat will be on the roof again. Okay? Something that existed in the past and could exist again. Espero que vamos muy bien, muchachos, entendiendo estas diferencias. Recuerde que podrían tener varias posibilidades, pero el contexto es fundamental and your attention is fundamental too. Look at this exercise number three, and this is the context, guys. The, there used to be dinosaurs in this forest. Okay, we're talking about dinosaurs. Dinosaur won't exist anymore. They existed in the past, not in the present. That's why I can use there used to be with no problems. We're talking about the emphasis on, in time. And in here, in the sentence that we have, we don't have a period of time, but it doesn't matter, okay? So, we don't have problems with this. Now, we're going to adapt this sentence into other was and there were sentences. Guys, we're talking about dinosaurs, which is the correct option here. And here is, there were. But I can write there were here. I have to adapt it. In this case, as this is a question, so I have to move where to the beginning. Where there... Were there dinosaurs in this forest? That's a very correct sentence. But according to the context in itself, this wouldn't be used here. Okay? Esto no sería utilizado en esta forma. Es una oración correcta. Había dinosaurios en esta selva. Cuando lo utilizamos de esta manera, básicamente estamos hablando de que los dinosaurios estaban ahorita y que más tarde podrían volver. ¿sí? Pero como no es así, básicamente la tendencia es a utilizar there used to be porque se quedaron en el pasado y ya, no van a volver a aparecer. Bueno, uno que va a saber, pero es muy raro que eso suceda. Listo, Entonces básicamente nos vamos a ir por la lógica. ¿okay? Now guys, let's continue with number four. A few years ago, there didn't used to be so many teachers at this university that we have right here, which is the context. And pay attention to the number four here. A few years ago, what is the correct answer here? If we're talking about so many teachers, in this case is there what? There was or there were? It would be there were, guys, because we're talking about many teachers. It's plural, but this is a negative sentence, so I had to put it in a negative form too. So you can use it like this. There were not, there were not, or you can also do this in the short form like this. There weren't, there weren't so many teachers at this university. Guys, both options are correct. It depends on the context. Entonces, ahí podrían ser las dos adaptadas, depende como de la intención como tal. Aquí hablamos de que hace mucho tiempo, pues, no es que hicieran tantos profesores, no solía haber tantos profesores como lo hay ahora. Sí, hablando como de esa pequeña diferencia. Y aquí estamos hablando de hace, hace unos cuantos años no habían tantos profesores en la universidad Parecen muy, muy similares, pero acá estamos haciendo el énfasis en el tiempo. Aquí de algo que existió en el pasado y que podría existir. Y acá algo que existió en el pasado y ya no está más. Entonces, básicamente es para que ustedes analicen estas oraciones. Espero que les haya gustado mucho esta clase. Que practiquen con otros ejercicios que les voy a dejar porque esto es cuestión de práctica. ¿Sí?
esta será otra clase recomendada, el uso de The Rings de Art también es presente, les va a ayudar muchísimo. Y bueno muchachos, seguimos con esta sopita, incluyéndoles muchas cosas, espero que les haya gustado y bueno, no olvide compartir esta clase y este canal con muchas otras personas. So my friends, I hope you like this class and see you next class. Bye bye.